So what is the best vlogging lens when it comes to vlogging with the Canon M50 or any other Canon mirrorless like the Canon M6? In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down the three lenses that you wanna consider when upgrading your vlog setup. Let's go. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Altecori with Think Media, helping you build your influence with online video. And on this channel, we do YouTube tutorials as well as tech gear reviews just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So when building out your vlog setup, there's definitely a ton of things to be thinking about in regards to like what your stabilization is gonna be or your audio is gonna be. But what's also very important is what lens you decide to go with. What's really crazy about cameras that have interchangeable lenses is that usually you can buy a camera and invest in a lens that will really make the camera come alive. A lot of the times people buy kit lenses, which I'll go over in just a second, but a lot of the times kit lenses don't get you the best looking footage. The other thing to consider is potentially weight, you know, image stabilization, and also field of view. And so at the end of this video, hopefully you can make a decision on which lens would be best for your vlog setup. Let's go. So the first lens I wanna bring up is the kit lens that comes with the Canon M50, and that is a 15 to 45 millimeter, 3.5 to 5.6 lens. Now this is a good lens because it does give you the ability to zoom into something all the way from 15 to 45. However, because it's not a constant zoom lens, your aperture is gonna automatically change as you zoom, which with a crop sensored camera, if you're shooting at 45 millimeters and your aperture has to be at 5.6, the likelihood is that your ISO is gonna be compromised, then introducing grain, then lowering your image quality. We do like to share with our Think Media community that if you are planning on buying a new camera, to consider the content you're trying to create. Because if you know you're gonna buy a new camera, you can actually save money by just buying the body. And so if you just buy the body knowing that you're gonna invest in a better lens, you'll save money and then you can put that money toward a better lens. So we like to ask, what are you usually gonna use your camera for? Is it vlogging? Is it talking head videos? Because all this stuff comes into consideration when selecting a lens. But with all that being said, the kit lens that the Canon M50 comes with is a decent vlogging lens, especially at 15 millimeters wide uh, and at 3.5 apertures. However, if you do buy the camera with a kit lens or maybe you already own the kit lens, I do wanna show you what's possible with investing in potentially other lenses. The next vlogging lens I wanna bring up is an awesome lens and that is the 11 to 22 millimeter f4 to 5.6 wide zoom lens. Now this lens is super sweet because of how wide it is. You know, at 11 millimeters, you're talking super wide field of view and at f4, it is gonna give you a nice little crispy a uh, decent blurry background, not completely blurred out. Nonetheless, with how much you're capturing during your vlogging, it's gonna be really nice. It's almost like vlogging essentially with a GoPro. And what's, what I love about this lens as well is how light it is. It's a super light lens. And you do have the ability to zoom in a little bit, but again, like the last lens, it is not a constant aperture. And so when zooming into 22 millimeters, you're gonna find that your aperture is gonna go up to 5.6, then you know, messing with your settings. However, if you plan on just keeping it at 11, you're gonna be good to go. But this is your most ideal vlogging lens because of its weight and size. Now, I would say the cons of this lens is that it's just simply not universal. So if you plan on doing YouTube talking head videos or even like a lecture or something, this lens doesn't really lend itself to that. However, this is a vlog lens video. I just wanted to mention that if you do invest in the 11 to 22 millimeter, it is gonna be tough because you're not gonna be able to use it for kind of any other situation other than vlogging. So just a quick recap, we covered the 15 to 45 kit lens and then now the 11 to 22 wide zoom lens. Uh, a key thing to mention about these two lenses is that they both have image stabilization in the lens, which is super sweet when, it, when you're considering vlogging. However, most Canon cameras have the ability to turn on electronic image stabilization. So if a lens does not have image stabilization, you could turn it on and it will help a little bit. But turn that on, add a lens that does have image stabilization, and now you have this dual image stabilization. Your footage is gonna look super smooth and not shaky, especially if you're doing like rock climbing and hiking and stuff like that with your camera. Rock climbing. <laughs> Hey, I just wanted to take a quick coffee break and talk about our sponsors for this video, and that is Epidemic. Epidemic is our resource here at Think Media on how we find all our music and sound effects for our videos. They offer affordable options to cover all your music needs, and whether it's for your YouTube videos, special projects, freelance, or even social media, they got you covered, and it's super safe to use. So check out the current best offer we got going on right now with them, and you can check that out in the link in the description below. And the best thing about it is it's risk-free because you could cancel at any time. So make sure you check that out and let's get back into the video. Now, before we get into our favorite vlog lens for the Canon M50, 
Question of the day is what camera are you using to vlog? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you've been getting value, why don't you smash that like button on your way to the comment section? I'd really appreciate that. Now let's talk about the Sigma 16 millimeter 1.4 lens for Canon EFM mounts. Now this Sigma lens is one of the best lenses you can buy for your Canon M50 or Canon mirrorless camera like the Canon M6 uh, because of simply its low aperture and its ability to really give you that blurry, blurry background. Now the difference between this lens and the other two I mentioned is there's no zoom on this lens. And so you would consider this lens a prime lens. Prime lenses are awesome because they're able to be fast. And what that means is you can simply crank down your aperture to as low as 1.4 on this lens or even like the Canon Nifty 50 a lot of people know about, it's like a 1.8 lens, but you yourself has to move and you have no ability to zoom. Prime lenses do have rings on it, but it's never a zoom ring, it is a focus ring. And so if you wanted to manually focus, you totally could. However, the autofocus on this lens is incredible. We love this lens so much because of its field of view. At 16 millimeters, it's almost like a 24 millimeter on a full frame camera, um, and which is a fairly medium field of view. So it's not as wide as 11 millimeters. So you're not getting that super almost GoPro look, but it is good enough. If you're holding a Joby Gorillapod and it's arm's length distance from you, you're gonna get enough distance from you and your background to see everything that needs to be seen. Uh, another reason why we love this lens is because it's just a good focal range for talking head YouTube. Like right now, I'm using the 16 millimeter on our camera to film this video. And so you can see that, you know, the camera is where it needs to be based off of the shot. But if you wanted to zoom in, you would actually just have to bring the camera closer. Or if you wanted to zoom out, you'd bring it further. One thing to note about this lens is there is no image stabilizer in the lens itself. So with this lens, we're really relying on that electronic image stabilization that the Canon cameras offer, which is again, no big deal because of the image quality it's producing. I mean, even for photography, these photos are looking super clean with this lens. And what's cool is it because it's a little wider than your traditional 50 millimeter or like 85 millimeter portrait lens is that it does give off a vibe. You know, it's a little bit more wide, um, but at the same time, just its versatility at 16 millimeters on a crop censored camera serves as one of the best lenses you can buy for vlogging. Now, if you've ever bought a camera with a kit lens, you've probably felt that you don't have any need to invest in another lens. I would actually say it's unfortunate, but I feel like camera companies throw in that kit lens uh, to kind of suit your needs up front but kit lenses are usually not gonna be money makers. Kit lenses will usually never give you that super blurry background or even produce the results you're seeing on either Instagram or online because most of the time, people are using really nice lenses or really nice glass. So with that being said, the Sigma 16 millimeter comes in at around $450 which is very similar to how much you can buy the Canon M50's bodies for, which may be hard to hear because you can actually buy the Canon M50 and with a kit lens refurbished for about $480. However, that setup may not give you the image you're looking for. The image you're looking for might be the Canon M50 with the 16 millimeter on it. So just know that investing in the lens is really what's giving you the look overall. But all in all, we love this lens for vlogging, for YouTube videos, and really it's just gonna be a, a lens that we keep in our kit at all times. And so just know that, I hope there's more than anything, this video was educational to the point that you're probably gonna invest in your lenses and put more money into your lenses than you are your camera bodies. I know it's when I first got into filmmaking and photography, I was kind of taken back with the idea of having to invest in lenses because I was like, dude, the camera is taking the picture, but it's the lens that's making the picture look good. And so. Just keep that in mind when investing into lenses. And that's what you're doing. You're investing into lenses because if you plan on staying with the same camera brand, your lenses are gonna travel with you. So as you upgrade your camera bodies, your lenses stay the same. And I would tell you that the look that your new camera bodies are gonna give you are gonna be based off of the lenses that you already own. So when you're making that investment, just keep that in mind. So I hope you got a ton of value out of this video. And hey, let me know what lens you think looks best. You know, if you like the super wide 11 millimeter look or do you like the blurry background look, let me know in the comment section below. And make sure to check out our Canon M50 playlist where we break down so many things and go really deep with the Canon M50 so you can get so much more out of your Canon M50. Check out that playlist by clicking and tapping the screen right now and I'll see you in the next video.